hey guys, here is how we work out the percentage of an element in a compound. Now before you watch this, you need to know how to work out the relative formula mass of something. So go and look at that video, or this video has it in it as well. Um, you have to be able to do this for your GCSE for chemistry, it is such a big part. Um, if you don't think there are enough examples here for you, pop over to my classroom channel where there are a load more. The first thing we need to do when we work out the percentage of an element in a compound is to work out the relative formula mass. So here we have hydrogen, hydrogen has a mass of 1 and we have 2 of them so the total mass of this is 2. Now there's only one element in hydrogen gas so we can say that that is 100%. Here we have hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen has a mass of 1 and there is one of them. That gives us a total of 1. And chlorine has a mass of 35.5. And there is 1 chlorine, so that gives us 35.5. If we add those together, we are going to get a total mass of 36.5. If we wanted to work out the mass of hydrogen in this, we would take the total mass of hydrogen, which is 1, divide that by the total mass, which is 36.5, times it by 100, which will give us an answer of 2.7%. Here we have potassium nitrate. Potassium has a mass of 39, and there's one of them, so that gives us 39. Nitrogen has a mass of 14, and there's one nitrogen, so that's 14. Oxygen has a mass of 16 and there's three of them, so that gives us 48. If we take 39 plus 14 plus 48, we will get a total mass of 101. If we wanted to work out the percentage mass of nitrogen in this, we would take the total mass of nitrogen, which is 14, divide it by the total, which is 101, not 100, 101, times that by 100, and we will get rounded 14%. Here we have sodium sulphate. Sodium has a mass of 23 and there were two of them, giving us a total of 46. Sulphur has a mass of 32 and there's one sulphur, giving us a total of 32. And oxygen has a mass of 16 and there are four of them, giving us a total of 64. 46 plus 32 plus 64 gives us 142 as the total mass for sodium sulphate. If we wanted to work out the total mass of oxygen in this, we would need to do the total mass of oxygen divided by the total. So that would be 64 divided by 142 times 100 will give us 40. Here we have barium nitrate. Barium has a mass of 137 and there is one, giving us a total of 137. Nitrogen has a mass of 14 and there are two of them, giving us a total of 28. Oxygen has a mass of 16 and there are six of them giving us a total of 96. So 137 plus 28 plus 96 gives a total of 261. If you're confused about brackets, I've just made another video explaining this in a bit more detail, so you can go and check that one out. Here I want you to find the total mass of nitrogen. Now we have two nitrogens, that is divided by the total which gives us 28 um, over 261 times 100, giving us 11%. If you are still stuck on this, you can go and check out my um, books or my classroom channel where there are loads more examples for you.